Hi, it's Dan. So in this video, we're going to talk about why you need to get a couple of breaks in your life every so often. Hey, it's Dan. Hope you're well. So, freshly baked after our trip to Centre Park in France. And then, little did the little one know, um, but uh, the day before we were due to come home, we actually booked uh, two days in Paris because we were at, at, at Disneyland in Paris because we were kind of in, in that location anyway we figured you know we've come all that way why not last time it was two years and she's now eight before she was six and it makes a big big difference she's so excited about seeing all the characters I got very excited about seeing some of the Marvel characters uh, seeing the uh, black Captain America, very, very excited about that. That was really cool, probably on one of the previous videos you've seen that. All these little kids running up to their superhero, and you know, like, uh, you know, obviously I'm a white guy, he's a black guy. Representation matters. The number of smaller I don't know what the term is these days that we're supposed to use for black people. I don't I, I don't know what the term is. So I apologize if that's not the term, but that's I'm ignorant. I can't help it. So seeing all these little kids uh, who were represented by this Captain America brilliant. It brought a tear to my eye. Here I am, a 50-year-old man thinking if I just kick those kids out of the way, <laughs> can I get a selfie? Obviously we didn't do that, but I'm like, it was brilliant. I, I, that was the biggest bit for me, uh, just seeing some of the Marvel characters. Spider-Man was off the scale good. I uh, had Black Widow, she was amazing in a fight scene on top of a building at Disneyland. Loved it. I probably loved that more than my little one. Loved seeing Tigger and Piglet and all the Disney princesses and so on. But. One of the things that I realise, you know, as entrepreneurs, we kind of want to sit and we work and uh, I don't have time for that. I've got to work, 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 work. We've got targets to meet and people to pay. You know, we've got employees and we've got staff and we've lost some clients because they can't afford to continue and that kind of thing. And like everybody right now is struggling, you know? And so you, you're like, you know, I can't really uh, afford to go away on holiday because for time constraints, financially we're fine, but for time constraints, we've got too much to do. So did I work on holiday? Yes, I did work on holiday. We're entrepreneurs, it's what we love. I couldn't wait to get back home. I love the holiday, I love centre parks. I love getting on the bike and riding to various places at centre parks. I also love coming home. I love what I do. Uh, and then just having a team meeting with my staff, going through what happened while I was away, boy it was amazing i came back everything was done everything was in place looking at the graphs of our uh, visitor traffic for our clients just going up over the last three months amazing but what i wanted to cover in this video is despite enjoying the holiday and despite wanting to be back home actually going away on holiday was really good for my mental well-being my soul my ideas my capacity to generate more ideas it was really really useful and because of that i'm like you know what i need to do i need more holidays shorter holidays by the way because two weeks is far too long for me but you know going away for two three days um to a nice hotel some of the hotels that we stayed in were a little bit dodgy on the way there um and then i said okay let's stay in a minimum four star uh, we stayed in two very nice four stars, one at Radisson and one uh, at Mercure. And then the Novotel, which is allegedly a four star, was in no way a four star, it was more like a three star, pretty bad. But we stayed in some nice hotels uh, on the way back, so that was good. We need that. I need that. You need that. You need to get time away. Time away with the family, <laughs> time away from the family. It's really, really important that we get this time to ourselves to re-energize, rejuvenate, to find ourselves once more and remind ourselves why on earth are we working 18 hour days, seven days a week uh, in order to bring in the cash and not enjoy it in any way, shape or form. And so, 
for me that was a really good reminder and I think that's probably a good reminder for you out there and you're you know if you're struggling right now and you're like no dad I can't take any time away I couldn't afford the hotel anyway I mean I'm off to Leeds next week and I'm sleeping in my car so we've just done two weeks in Centre Parks, a couple of days, well, ten days in Centre Parks, a couple of days at uh, Disneyland, four-star hotels, and then my wife and daughter are going to stay with her parents, and then I'm off. I'm car camping in the back of a little Peugeot estate. And I love that dichotomy of staying in these posh, nice places and then car camping, and actually, I might go stay in a four-star hotel, get my showers in, you know, and, and do it that way but just doing that is going to mean it's going to enable me to reset and rethink about how I want my future life to be and also what does work look like I mean this is work for example I'm off right now to pick up um, some uh, doggy treats and book an appointment for, at the vet and I'm doing a, a video about work-life balance and about going on holiday and about why you should go do it this is work I have to go do these other things anyway. I might as well film myself while I'm on my way, right? So, going away and allocating time maybe to do that work, that's fine. You know, as entrepreneurs, one of, you know, one of my friends said to me, as he said, on a Friday night, I leave, I leave my work and that's it. I don't have anything else. I go away, two weeks on holiday, boom sitting on the beach, I don't have to think about work at all. And that's fine, right? And my, my response to him was, yes, but you're gonna be doing that until you're 65. And it's worse than that, because now you're gonna be doing that until you're 67, is it, for pension age? Soon it'll be 68, soon it'll be age 70. And there's no upside. Like, if you're on 25 grand a year, what are you gonna get, 30 grand a year, 35 grand at a push? There's no upside. As an entrepreneur, yeah, makes it harder to get that time off and constantly have that time off and just take a solid two weeks off. Although saying that, you know, my business has done very well having that time off because we've got such a wonderful digital marketing agency in place. Um, but I don't want to be able to take two weeks off and not think about work, but have to solve that for the next, you know, I'm 50 now, so for next, another 28 years, screw that. At some point, we're going to sell the business, we're going to sell all the properties, we're going to take the rest of our life off. And, and if you're in work, you might go, well, so am I, age 68, when I got my pension. How's that going to work out for you? What, what are you going to afford on your pension? Unless it's a good pension, it's definitely a state pension is not going to work. So, what I'm saying here is, you need these regular pit stops along the way. Um, you've got to get time off, time away. Because the body and the brain absolutely 100% needs you to take that time off because if you don't you're never going to stop working and you're just going to be having the same conversations again and again and again and nothing new will come out I mean I've come back this week and absolutely buzzing about all the things I want to do all the things I want to implement uh, some businesses that we've seen that we're thinking about acquiring like I've seen all this stuff and I am re-energised back into doing the work, putting the hours in, you know, face to the grindstone and putting in those hours and getting that work done. Because then, guess what, next year is an even better holiday, the year after that is an even better one and so on and so forth. But I can't do that if all I'm doing is working seven days a week, 18 hour days. I simply cannot do that and neither can you, I suspect. Anyway, look, I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments below and we'll speak to you on the next video. My name's Dan Latter. Have a wicked day. Take care.